I'll be tending to the flowers. What are we lamb? What are we lamb? Look at our wee sandals. We cutie patootie. Right, it's been a while since we played this. Uh, literally a month, almost. Right, let's uh, follow some story, guys. For anybody who's watching on YouTube, welcome back, guys. We've just um, dived straight back in. Again, I don't know how this is going to end up merging with another part of the, of the playthrough, but I'm assuming this is the beginning of the episode. Episode 3, most likely. Here's where we stand in terms of Crisis Core at the moment. We are in Chapter 7, and uh, we've only got a few more chapters to do. Before we started today, I did begin by doing a bunch of side missions. I've been rattling through these as best I can, and although we haven't completed them all, we've been making pretty good progress on a lot of them. Obviously, when you go into some like some of these categories, like this has 18, right? You go in, then you click on this. There's like all of the missions within these missions and stuff like that. So we've been trying our best to get through some of these and uh, upgrade Zach. We're at level 27. Um, but yeah, this is where we're sitting at right now. We've got an attack of 41, vitality 41. Our magic is 69, Omega Lol. And uh, the materia we are carrying right now is as follows. I'll show you. Fire, oh, Faraga Blade is now mastered in Thundara, is mastered as well as is Vital Slash, so maybe I should be changing some of these up. Yeah. Okay, I'm going to level Cure and Stop and then I'll fuse them and then we'll see what we get from that, okay? We've just gained a ton of HP which will make us incredibly tankier. We have now made Dark Fireaga and Dark Blazaga, so we've got two powerful Dark spells which is brand new to me right now, I've never made these before. They're going to take time to level up. I've just gained 100% HP on my Dark Blazaga fusion by putting, I think it was like Chocobo Feathers or something similar into the mix. So now my health pool has went from like 2,000 up to like 5,000. Now this is obviously buffed valiantly by this HP percentage up, but my HP has just basically doubled almost. All things considered, we're doing pretty well, so... We'll say goodbye to Aerith in the church and we are going to head on out into the story for the first time today. That took us two hours. <laughs> <laughs> but I th I think it was worth. Zach's um, up in it. He's gotten a few levels up, so it'll hopefully make things a little bit better for us. Turn this up for you guys a little bit. Alright, let's see what we can do here. I don't know how powerful we're going to be, but let's try out some of our new moves. So, first things first, I want to try Blast Wave. Okay, got interrupted. You'll love to see it. Okay, not as flashy as I was hoping for, but still pretty powerful. Let's try... I actually can't do Dark Fire Rag at the moment because I am silenced, so that's unfortunate. That move seems to be quite powerful. Not bad. I want to see some of my new fire abilities and my, my Blizzaga abilities. Oh, hey. What's up, buddy? Anti-Genesis copy measure. Did these things sucked? Budget Wally. Alright. Oh. Uh-oh. また黙りかよ。タクスにはタクスの仕事がある。お前がエアリスと遊びたいなら別に止めはしないぞ。あ、遊んでないってのは俺だってソルジャーとしてエアリスを守るために。兄ちゃん、花売りワゴンを作るん
Oh, that's a helmet. Well, I don't think we need that. So maybe there should be wood around this area that I can harvest, I guess? And that can be put to good use for the wagon? Yeah, okay, there we go. Use tools. Okay, sweet. Or even Shinra merch, so maybe this is something else. Find some wood. Okay, wood near the store. Alright, cool. We can move on with this fairly quickly. So does that mean all the other stuff disappears? I guess so. That's the little kid that offers the bonus minigame where you find count guess the number of like humans walking past, I guess. This is the wood. Take that. Alright. Uh-oh. Isn't dropped that it was placed. What are you up to? So what's happening now? Do we have to like get wood from someone else? Oh! Alright, so he's going to share wood. What do we need? I'm building a bar in the Sector 7 slums. <gasps> Tifa's bar? I want you to come up with a name for the place. Oh, 7th Heaven, obviously. Once the name is decided, I can build a mental image. Uh, 7th Heaven, Paradise in Sector 7, surely. It has to be. That's the name of the bar in Final Fantasy VII. That's Tifa's bar. It's got to be. Surely? Kind of love this. So Zach helped construct the bar. That I didn't know that. Nice. A HQ for an anti Shimra group. It's perfect bar for the slums. <laughs> what the fuck? He just reveals that, does he? You know I'm with Soldier, right? Dumb badge. Well done. Alright, easy, dude. That's just something that you would just need to know. Lore based, I guess. Maybe there's somebody in the area that will give you a clue to it, or maybe if you get it wrong, you have to do a mission for him, but that's kind of cool. Need tires, wheels. We need to go to cars. We going to steal wheels off another vehicle, I guess? Young love. Take these. Worn tires. He just gave me them. 140 miles an hour. They can withstand 140 miles an hour. And they're worn? What the fuck? Very fast, bro. Okay, the instructions. Where have you been, Bruno, you little prick? Alright, last time. Alright, we found them. Nice. Good job. That's so weird, though. The game was literally telling me... Like, everything was pointing me to the Shinra building, but... Wait a minute, maybe he'll go... Oh! There's nothing suspicious about me! Hey, Lamal, good shit. I'm on you. Okay, I'm gonna have a bite of my chocolate here. So we go back to the slums. We go through the slums into here. I think if we want to find the premium flower wagon stuff, we have to uh, do some other things. Um, and we've already started kind of cracking down on that slightly. This is it here, I think. Or how to build the wagon. A carrying case. This is so ass that you'd have to come back here. I think he might have told you, like, go back there. Alright. Hello, Aerith. Let's see what she's got to say. Let's make the wagon. Okay, flower materials used. Easy. Don't mind us, we're just gonna build this in the middle of the church. Glad there's nobody else in the church here. Okay. We're gonna do all the wagons if, if we can, if it's possible. Here she is. Not quite what I expected. That's pretty cute! What a nicer one. Fuck you, Aerith. <laughs> tell him, Zach, tell him. <laughs> I 
く<笑>何個あるのうん 23? 紙に書けよ忘れるからうん状況が変わったナイスティー本社へ急げうんうんお仕事残念Alright, cool. So that takes us back to Shinra. This is going to take us in a chapter 8 chat. Holy moly. Sephiroth, you sex bomb. Do I do it? Leno, are Nanika Wakatano Kato Motikara? Shosoko Tata Soroja Tachua Lazado Tata Renchuda Shikamo Carera Podogata no Kimio na Socho of Kinde Mitsketarashi Sorete Horandano Osorak Modeo Haim Kara Ubareta Odio Haim Tecotua Lazado Holanda Genesis. I need to go. There are mother soldier for a egg. Oh, my to do go through his touch. I see, but no, she does. You guys will depart as soon as you and the men are ready. I'm a major at a Marco or no chosen. Free city. I know. Not anymore. You are a day. By any of the or was seen down still come to the night. それまでは死んだの従順なソルジャーだ。オッケー。で、誰も来ないな。お、ザックス。セフィロスさんと一緒に新しい任務に行くんだってな。So this is Consul, right? This guy right here is going to ask us if we're ready to go. We're going to say no. It's kind of weird that they took me back to Shinra just to take me back to Aerith again, though, and make me walk all the way. The good news is I think some of the requirements for the extra wagons that we need to collect, I think we've already done some of them. So that should be okay. Oh, Zax! Is your job done already? No. これから大事な任務でミッドガルを離れることになった。いつ戻る？うん。わからん。そっか。電話してもいい？もちろん。仕事だってヒュンと終わらせてすぐ帰ってくる。ねえ、今からダメ？え、何を？まずはスラム。お花でいっぱい。Do I need to build the wagons before this, though? Mm. Am I supposed to be doing this now? Because the guy doesn't say anything about that. Oh, that's the wagon. Customer. Nene, so Goranta, Hanaka,
Yeah, you should be able to say no, yeah. I think that's coming up soon. I think Kunso's gonna say to me, are you sure you wanna leave? And then we say no, and then we do all this extra stuff. I think this is part of the story that we have to get through. But it's also a beautiful part too, so I, I should be paying more attention. Dude, I tell you, Sung's fucking eyeliner is literally on point. So I think this takes me back to Kunsel. Yes, okay, good. Let's see. Let's turn Kunsel down a little bit. Okay, so now we, si we decide, yeah, wait, I need a little more time. Right, now we go and do some extra stuff. Building a flower wagon again. If you collect wagon materials and speak to Edith at the church, you can build a specialized wagon. You can make a cool one and a cute one. This little wanker. I'm a proud Wutai trooper. Oh, he actually unironically is. Tragic, dude. It's just a kid. I'm just a kid and life is a nightmare. How did the, how is that possible? How would he change from a little boy and a guy? Alright, cool. Thanks, we managed to catch one. Here's the gratitude. So when it said earlier you don't need to do the the missions, it meant the actual missions that you unlock. So Wu Tai's nemesis, we got a little trophy for that, that's cool. So we're making good progress. Now we just need the premium tires. First available in chapter three, you'll be able to talk to a soldier trainee in the briefing room when you usually speak to Lazard. Our main man should be in here and he should give us what we need. Wait, what the fuck is happening? Oh, he's in here. Maybe. I got a bit panicky there. Mm. Even after you taught me all the stuff, I keep screwing up. Sorry, buddy. I've decided to quit soldier. Oh, no. Who's this? Is this the boss? Soldier second class. Most important thing for soldier? I never did. Wanted to be a great operative like Zack. Let me guess, honor. Honor and courage and dreams. Embrace your dreams, yeah, classic. So if your dreams are to become Godzilla naked in the middle of the high street, then by all means. Okay. Race my dreams. Premium tires obtained. Cool. Banging. Right, now we need to check and see of the missions of the next part for Craftsman's Monthly. We need to do mission 1.2.1, which we have finished all of. Which is great, we don't have to do this. So we need to go to the training room to get the second cart. So if I want to do this, do I just tick to this guy? <laughs> that was so robotic, that turn. <laughs> that robot, that was so robotic. Okay, physical fitness, I'm ready. Uh, how did I do before I'm not interested? Let me add it. Right, we're doing squats, boys. Oh, shit. Right, how do we do this? See how many squats you can do in one minute every time you perform a series of successful squats. Your pace will go up. If you fail a squat, you'll be put on hold temporarily. So be careful, press triangle to perform a squat. The moment Zach squats down. Okay, let's learn it. Learn by feeling, chat. Okay, here we go. It's just a rhythm. Six, seven, eight. Whew. The longer you do these mini games, though, the more your brain starts to collapse in on itself. Just as a heads up. Like, see if you sit and do this for hours. It's one of these things that you fail over and over again, guys. And then see when you come back after your dinner and you've not played it, you do it first try. Oof, why is there a squatting game? Welcome to Final Fantasy VII, Chiu. What can I say? I'm impressed. Shinra, there we go. Shinra squats champion, Shinra soldier obtained. Let's just check them off in order. We'll do this really boring. So, uh, Mithril tools. Do we have Mithril tools? Mithril tools. We have Mithril tools. 
Next up, do we have walnut wood? We have walnut wood. Do we have premium tires? We have premium tires. Craftsman's monthly, we have. And then these four parts here, I don't know what it says, all four. I'm assuming that it's just the lunch cart specs, Shinra ceramic, Shinra treads, and Shinra soldier. Check it, check it, check it. Ooh! There's, there's little cart number one. Hello? Looks like you have a lot of cute items. Yeah, fuck yeah, I do. The cutest. Mithril! Mithril! The dwarves, the elves, who knows? Big fucking heavy wood. Yep. <laughs> we use these materials, we can make another wagon. Fucking do it. Yeah, 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 yeah. This better buy me some brownie points, chat, I swear. This doesn't get me a date, I don't know what will. I'm going to some extreme ends for this young lady. Oh, bro, look at it. Beautiful. It looks way worse than this than the first one we made, but never mind. Love it. Fucking needy. What is? What does she think she is? She thinks she's a fucking. She thinks she's like a one of the ancients or something. Deggy deggy home. Deggy deggy home. I am a setra and I'm digging a hole. Let's go sell some flippers. Do we get a little scene for this? Oh, I'm glad they're rewarding me. If they had just accepted items and said well done, I'd have been pissed. Look at this. Fucking hope so. I hope they'll buy. Really broke my spine trying to get these parts. What's up? あ、当たり前さ。この花はエアリスが大切に育てたんだから。本当こんなお花が空無中に咲いていたら素敵でしょうね。ああ。それが俺たちの夢なんだ。スラムだけじゃない。ミッドガルの上も下も花でいっぱ
Is it the Lishna weapon? <laughs> Flower wagon dumbass. What? Are you kidding me? No, not for sale. Not for sale. Absolutely not. Uh oh. Edith, are you kidding me? Oh. What dick? Bro. Midgar full of flowers, trophy earned. Oh. There we go, boys. We did it. Aerith, love me. Love me, Aerith, love me. No problem. I would do it for fucking literally no one else. Maybe Tifa. Careful at work, alright? Love you, Aerith. Be, be sweet, young Aerith. Alright, that's us boys, that's all we did it for. Stay up there you, you little prick. Alright, well, that was absolutely ball busting. Not entirely sure I'm ever going to get that time back in my life, but hey ho, we made Aerith happy and that kind of feels worth, so. Although she did try and sell my wagon, what's that all about? What should I do? It's time. I have no regrets. Je ne regrette rien. No, je ne regrette rien. See you later, console. This is important because that keeps telling all these people I'll see you around, I'll see you around. I'm not so sure, guys. Hey, Cloud. Hey. Young Cloudo. We're going on a mission with Cloudo, chat. It can only earn in, er, end in tears. I don't know why Cloud doesn't have to wear his helmet. Oh shit, son. I'm going to let the big dog in. So, yeah, where are you going? Where are you going? Oh shit, that! Oh, dude, that was so that was so juicy, man. <laughs> the way he turned around, he was like Nibelheim, because you know what happens in Nibelheim, chat. You might not actually. You might have not a Scooby what happens in Nibelheim, but you're about to fucking find out. All right, chapter seven done. I may abandon Shinra. <laughs> Oh man, we made it. How does it feel? These nuts didn't happen in Nibelheim, Mound of God. Don't say that. Don't say that. My mother's name is Genova, important chap. She died shortly after I was born. <laughs> So this scene right here is actually showcased in Final Fantasy VII, but you don't see the scene that you're seeing right now. You get to see it from another point of view, where things are a bit distorted and changed. Really cool, actually. Okay, so for those that don't know, this is a small village in the mountains called Nibelheim. There's a giant Shinra reactor here, right? And this is actually the village which Cloud, who is one of the little blonde-haired soldiers here, he's the main character of Final Fantasy VII. This is his home village, right? And we are here with Sh uh, with Sephiroth, who is wanting to explore Nibelheim. He wants to come here and investigate things. He's got some suspicions, he's got some hypotheses, and he's here to check out some stuff connected to this place. Um, honestly, this is a very important part of the story. It says you'll get in trouble for snipping around. What's this guy saying? 
Tripper, watch duty is just so boring. Uh, you want prac? You want to practice the usual? Posing. Like this. Okay, sure. I guess we're just speaking to Sephiroth, but we're gonna to talk to some kids first. S this, oh, we like to call them the Town Seven Wonders. Uh, yeah, sure. Are they hoaxes? The first one there is. Lately, the town's drinking water has become sometimes has been coming out red. So this uh this water tower is actually quite a famous part of Final Fantasy VII as well, because there's an iconic scene with Cloud and Tifa when they're kids. And they sit up on top of that and Cloud tells Tifa that he's going to go become a soldier and he's going to be leaving. And Tifa's like, bro, do you have to? And he's like, yeah. Please tell me. Oh. <gasps> Could it be? There she is. There she is. Dressed up in her little cowgirl fucking outfit. For whatever reason. Check this out though. Let's find out how Cloud reacts to Tifa. Because I think he's going to pretend he doesn't know her. And she doesn't know him because he's wearing his helmet. just ran completely through that war tower. That was bizarre. That was odd. Okay, there you have it. Can I actually investigate the war tower? We're just gonna go straight up. Sephiroth's gonna have to wait two minutes. I'm busy. Oh. Dude, there's a fucking summon materia in the war tower! Well, I'm glad we investigated this shit. Holy fuck. Uh, okay. Dude. Yo, let me thank you. Not very exciting, are you kidding me? I just got Phoenix! It was badass, bro! Okay, uh... Have you seen the painting of the girl on the second floor of the inn? Not yet. Second floor of the inn, hanging on the wall opposite the bed. Alright, cool. Let's go do that. Sephiroth, are you... I think he's going into the inn, is he? What's up? We ripped apart for the rector at dawn. Alright, early. See, this is where Chef Throff is still a nice guy. Although that's about to change very soon. When he goes fucking do lally. Go visit friends and family. Oh, here we go. Cloud, do you want to go visit Tifa? I want to talk to him, I want to talk to him, I want to talk to him. Ibrahimu. Cloud? Who the fuck is this guy? He's trying to take our picture. Uh, yeah, why is your helmet still on? It's personal. Cloud doesn't want to show that he's uh, that he's here. He doesn't want to reveal himself to the people in this village because Cloud told everybody in the village that he was going to leave and become a soldier first class. So when he comes back as a foot soldier, like the bottom of the ladder Shinra-like grunt, he's embarrassed. What a weirdo. I'll talk to you again. Why are you nervous? You know when monsters will appear, right? Wait, don't be a pussy. What the fuck? I want to have a look around, though. Um, I want to go and look in the, the picture of the inn. Am I allowed to do that? Can I go investigate? Oh, shit, dude. Can I go here? Can I go? Oh my god, I can actually go and have a little peek. This is wild, bro. Oh, there's the fucking... Dude, this is insane. I've never had this freedom here before. Uh, I think we have to just go into the inn, right? If I go this way, am I going to get in trouble? Here's the mansion. Activating combat mode. Here's a random bird that has to die. Fuck you. Now, where were we? We're enjoying a nice, calm, relaxed walk along the countryside before I slaughtered that innocent. I can go in! 
Holy shit, I can just come right on the fucking... I think we should uh, go talk to the little kid and I think he's gonna guide us around the village to the Seven Wonders. So maybe we should just do his stuff first. We'd always save at this point here. After annihilating this fucking bird that's just appeared. Fuck you. Get wrecked, fool. So if I save here... We're in chapter 8 now, right? Actually in chapter 8? Oh shit. I thought we were gonna be able to finish this game tonight, guys. Not a fucking chance. Yeah. Alright. I don't actually want to advance the time, though. I just want to go and look at the picture. Is that possible? You have received a new mail from Cloud. Uh... I want to tell you. We've been on a few missions together and there's something I've been meaning to tell you. I was thinking about telling you once we were in my hometown, but it's a little more embarrassing, so I'm going to write it down and send it to you. The day you change your hair, when you wished us rookies good luck before our sortie, i never forget those words. Remembering what you said that day gives me the courage to stay strong, so thanks, Zach. Aw, oh, cool. Right, I'm here to look at a picture. We're not going to talk to her, because I think that's going to advance... Well, maybe. Welcome. The second floor. Sefi, hello. Looking for a picture up here. <laughs> Maybe it's in here? Is that it over there? That's pretty distinctive. Alright, so it's a little girl holding flowers. Kind of eerie. So she is gone. So she must be in another painting in this area, right? So when she disappears, that has to be the first part, right? Oh, he's moving. Oh, he's moving now. Why is he moving? Is that Mar? Oh, he's running. Dude, did I just have to walk up and down the stairs like eight times? What the fuck? What is going on? This is very embarrassing, but I keep a nest egg that my wife doesn't know about. I hide it behind the paintings. Why does she why does she vanish? Oh, Alright, okay, so it's a two-sided painting. Two thousand gil. Well, Alright, sure, I guess. You just have to go up and down the stairs? That's so bizarre. Alright. Kinda of weird. Thanks, game. That was not intuitive. Alright, what's next? Yeah, I keep doing it. A little dangerous. Mount Nebel is home to a lot of dangerous monsters, but the most dangerous of all are the bombs. There's rumour that one of the bombs is different from the others. It's a bomb, but it doesn't have a bomb face. It has a different look. Weird, right? This is where you come in. I need you to go to the solid proof that it exists. So we need to go find the bomb. Is he actually... Is the bomb up on Mount Nebel? Probably not in the city, right? And then I'll have to recall. Uh, we need to find the bomb that's different from the rest, and then we need to get the drop that it drops. Maybe the bombs will spawn around here? I have no idea what's down there. Let's go see. There's a little chest. Mount Niblets. Got an ether for my pain. A fork in the mountain trail, and one path leads to a dead end where a strange bomb appears. Oh, well, that's that then. There's a bomb. He's a regular bomb. Is this is this the fork that he's talking about? The dead end, or is it actually up the mountain? Where does this go? What is this? Nibelheim. Oh, does this take me up to the underside? Oh, okay, okay, cool. Right, no problem. Right, we have to follow the path to where it splits then, I guess. Don't attack me, bomb. Don't attack me. Okay, cool. Seth slowly losing his mind, Zach running around talking to the children, picking up rocks and from the water. Yeah, I know. Seth, I was like, dude. They, they could have sent any soldiers with me and they sent this fucking idiot. Alright, we're gonna follow this to when the path splits. These enemies are getting kind of strong, though. What we getting? Yeah, dude, I'll do it. I'll bring in Odin. Zangetsu. Zantesuken is his name, not Zangetsu. Zantesuken. Savage, dude. 
Odin's only got one eye. This is some coming running down Mount, Mount Nebel for a milkshake. Turn the volume back down, guys, Sony. I made it here without running into, into a single monster? Teach me. Tell me about the Wonder Bomb, yeah, tell me. You can stop them all from exploding, they say you'll get something very nice. Okay, cool. Gold shard obtained. Oh, so you're just supposed to kill them before they explode, I guess. Hey, buddy. Safety bit. A laughing safe. Oh, this is inside the mansion. I remember this. It's a really old mansion. Yeah. Inside this, I think there's like a, a, sub, a secret boss in Final Fantasy VII. No one knows the code. Right, let's go interact with the safe and see what it says. I don't know how this is going to work. First digit, second digit, fourth digit. Oh, fuck. Uh, is there a note to the safe? First digit, knowledge overflowing. Unwelcome faces, tasty reminders of home resting on all fours. Resting on all four feet. Tasty reminders of home is the purple apples. Fourth, resting on all four feet. So this is to do with the... Oh, here we go. To open the, the laughing safe, you need to figure out the numeric password. Search the mission, the mansion for a door that won't open. Look through the keyhole. The first password digit, knowledge overflowing, is books. Okay, so let's uh, figure out digit number one. Because we know where the bookcase is, right? That was back here. I don't see anything. There's, there's two books on the floor. Right? There's like uh, one book and two books. There's like one and then two. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. There's an apple there, and there's two potions in it. See that, guys? Is that two bottles? One, two, three, and then the apple is four? There's also this, five. Maybe it's just all the apples? Okay, so there's a chair here. One chair. I don't know what the number sequence is. Is it just one, is it one chair? Let's try this then. So I am gonna go with my first my first guess. We might end up fighting random enemies. So I'm gonna try two, and then I'm gonna try three for the apples, and then one chair, and see if this works. Let's try two, nine. I'm gonna try five and one. The, do the ones the ones on top of the shelf do they count yet? I'm pretty sure there's nine monsters and there's only one fucking chair. So, so six, nine, four, one. Six, nine, four, one. Six, nine, four, one's not correct, dude. I don't know. Six, nine, four, one. Hey. All right. Good shit. A laughing character, of course. Peto. A peto. We get anything? Vital slash obtained. Good shit, guys. Alright, that's the fourth one. They're done. Okay. The fifth wonder. Yep. A really spooky story. It's a mystery buried deep in the earth. There are caverns beneath the Shinra Manor. Okay, you have to use the secret stairs from the mansion's second floor to get down there. A soldier guy named Sephiroth has the key. You're gonna be angry? Hmm. Well, I guess. Kifa, Kifa's the gate. So you got up. There you go. Nomura de Chiba no guide to Yeba. What does she not go to the show, ne? Demo, she can't see you. Maybe we do the wonders after we come back down. <laughs> I like that they're speeding through this, honestly. 
It says it's safe to talk to Sefi. Okay. There you go. That's gonna be awkward. As if Tifa wouldn't write, like wouldn't speak to Cloud. Oh. Doesn't even say anything, dude. He doesn't want to reveal. If I could kick his ass, let's be honest. For some reason Tifa's boobs haven't grown to the size of meteorites yet, so that's that's unusual. We must have just had a late spurt. Okay. Genova. Nanda. Lokua. Akanaika. Genova. Sephiroth's mum. Yeah. He's leaving. Yep, so. Dosai Jo no gain a corridor. Hi, Jesse, thanks. Kono Bubun, a quarter in the. Zucks. Barbu touch the grid. Nasa quarter. Okay. Spicy. Jesse says it's important when you reach the basement that you do not follow the story objective marker to where Sephiroth is. Okay. What have we look and see? Here. しかし、こいつらは何だお前たちとは比べ物にならないほど、高密度の魔法に浸されている。これがモンスター。モンスター。モンスターです。エフロス、スタートとと、と、と、と、と、と、と、と、と、と、と、と、と、と、と、と、と
Here you go. Here you go. Here you go. Here you go. Genova was a alien life form that fell out of space in a rock, crashed on Earth. Sephiroth. <laughs> Genova Project S は S 失敗したあまたのプロジェクトを踏み台に作り出された完璧なるモンスター俺に何ができるお前には他者へのコピー能力がない情報が拡散しないつまり劣化が起こらないということだ There you go. A turn was really good from Sephiroth. Not liking this. I love this as well. Look, he doesn't believe him. He's still rational, Sephiroth. Look, he's still normal. He's still calm. It will rot. けものたちの戦いが世に終わりをもたらすとき暗き空より女神が舞い降りるアンダニオ光と闇の翼を広げ私服へと導く贈り物とともにアーグデッ待て so Zach just watches all of this. Yeah, uh, interesting. Didn't he go nuts? Well, give it time. Give it time, dumpster. That's gonna happen soon. But first, we need some filler combat against non non important enemies to make the player feel like they're playing a video game. Shinra, uh, Sephiroth does go mad. It's not happened yet, though, dumpster. He's about to do it. He needs to go back and research in the laboratory, which he's about to do very soon. Why there's Shinra troops attacking me? That doesn't make any sense. Is it because we've found information in the mansion and Shinra wants us to die? Why are the why are the Shinra troops attacking us? No EP cost. Well, in that case, have some of this. Well, that did no damage whatsoever. He's got a barrier on. This guy's weak to magic, so I'll just kill him. G deleter. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You guys are kind of partially right. Look, that's Cloud on the floor. This is why later on in Final Fantasy, again, without spoiling too much, but this is why Cloud has memories of this place, but it's different from what Tifa remembers. And there's also some other... For fuck's sake, there's also some other mind fucky things that happen here, where when the come when the when the party of Final Fantasy VII get to to Nibelheim later on in life, the whole village has been like recreated again from scratch, which is also quite confusing for like the characters, but it's also confusing for the players to remember in terms of the timeline. But what's happened right now, and this is what I absolutely love. This is really actually quite clever. 
So Genesis, Genesis turns up and, and he tells Sephiroth this. Sephiroth came here looking for answers. Sephiroth has never known why he's so powerful. He's never known why he's so strong. He wants to know who he is. He wants to know where he's from. It's the classic anime trope where like the villain wants to know all about his past, but nobody like wants to tell him. So Sephiroth finds out that his mother, who was actually called Genova, is not actually a human being. It was a fucking asteroid that fell out of the sky, smashed into the earth, Shinra harvested it, it found they found an alien life form that was like very very powerful and very evil they harnessed it and secured it in this reactor they secured it in here right genova was locked away in here and they would use that to breed monsters from her and that's what sephiroth was born from this is all what the game is telling you right now by the way this isn't spoilers now when genesis turns up he recounts all this to uh, to sephiroth we've just watched this cutscene he's also genesis is also telling the player what's happening as well he's giving them a bit of a, a plot development but what's really good, and this is what I really love, is that Sephiroth, who is this like super badass super soldier, he's a hero, he's a true warrior, he doesn't just fucking snap believe Genesis and fly off the hook. He doesn't just like believe him and then go mad. He actually maintains composure and he's like, actually, dude, you're talking shit, man. I don't believe you. Fuck it. And he goes away and what he's going to do now and what we're going to see now as we make our way back down the mountain. Sephiroth is going to go into the Nibelheim mansion now and he's going to do some research on his past. And then that is what's ultimately, again, without spoiling anything, that is what's going to lead to him going fucking ham salad here. That's what's going to lead to the upcoming events where uh, Zack and Cloud end up falling into, you know, don't want to don't want to spoil it because you guys are going to get to see soon enough. But everything that you experience in Final Fantasy VII through Cloud's memories is what's happening to Zack right now. Uh, and it's really, it's kind of cool how it all ties together. It's, it's a little bit convoluted, but it's also not so bad. It's just a bit strange. It's because the reason why this might be confusing to a lot of people is because you visit this location in multiple different timelines and the village has been like recreated and rebuilt. That can confuse people because, again, it's supposed to like pretend. Shinra basically wiped the place and make it look like nothing ever happened and they rebuild it up from scratch. But then the, another reason why it's trippy is because when this all this information is relayed to the players, it's relayed through Cloud's memories, which because of how fucked up Cloud is right now, and because of what's about to happen to Cloud in the future, his memories are all completely distorted. They are completely infused with Zack's and, uh, and this part of history, but Cloud, Tifa, all these people, they're about to get beaten up severely, and so they kind of forget a lot of the stuff as well. So Dumpster was saying about like Tifa recognizing like not recognizing Zack or whatever with the helmet off when Cloud talks to Tifa about his memories of this later on in Final Fantasy 7 Tifa says to him like you weren't there that day bro you weren't actually there it was someone else there was some Shinra soldiers that were there it wasn't you and then at that point in the story of Final Fantasy 7 you're left thinking what's going on is Cloud losing his mind is Tifa wrong it's like no nobody's like Tifa is wrong but she thinks she's right at this point right it's not that people are lying to us or whatever, it's just that every, everybody's memories are skewed because of all the different positions of the historical unfolding. Hmm. Didn't he go to the Shinra mansion before the reactor? He goes to the Shinra uh, mansion in a second tonight. So when Zack and friends go back to the inn to rest, Sephiroth goes into the mansion and he doesn't come out for days. I think that's what happens. He goes in there for days. And then shit hits the fan and everybody goes back to the reactor and that's where bad things happen. Mm. Yeah, yeah. That's exactly right, Dumpster. So right now Shinra's rational. It's because he's not done his research yet. He's about to go do his research. And then after that... It's really weird that Tifa, the tour guide, is carrying this Shinra soldier down the mountain. But I guess we're supposed to be escorting them. It's quite nice how it all ties together, but it is a bit brain fucky. If you think about it too hard, guys, your brain will start to melt. Uh, but it's not so bad. I always assume when I read a timeline or watch a timeline video, somebody gets the details wrong, which can also fuck with things sometimes. Sometimes I get the details wrong too, but for the most part, we're on track right now. Notice that Zack conveniently never calls Cloud by his name in front of Tifa. Sephiroth's 
ありがとうディバー Oh, Cloud's keeping his head down. Doesn't want anything to do with it. Maybe we'll see some of the developments here. Tifa was busy. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. ザックスソルジャーはモンスターみたいなもんだやめとけ何があったんだわかんねえわかってたつもりだったけどああああああああああああああああそういやお前ティファとは知り合いんまあね話したのかいやなんか訳があるんだろうけどそれでいいのかん俺なんかさ俺はソルジャーだから戦っていればいいんだ面倒なこと考えるのは誰かに任せておけばいいんだ何が起こってる敵は誰だなことはどうでもいいんだよ<笑>なあザックスその件すごいよな憧れるよ使うと汚れるかけるすり減るそっちの方がもったいない金よりもお前の方が大切だほんの少しな<笑>夢を抱きしめろそしてどんな時でもソルジャーの誇りは手放すな Nice little reminder here for Zack 夢と誇りの象徴なんだいやそのものだ俺見失うところだったありがとなクラウドえよしとりあえず寝る Cute little reminder there. Zach going along the path of all the other heroes, but like because of his upbringing with Angeal and all of the guidance and stuff, kind of retains that benevolence, I guess. All right. So this looks like it's evening time, and I wonder what's going to happen here. Rest a little more. We'll take this down a little bit again, guys. Okay. So, we have a new mail from Cloud and from Tifa. The fuck is Tifa heading me up saying? Probably telling me that something, there's weird smoke coming out. Oh, look, Cloud. If you like, hey, do you want to come over to my house? I want you to try Mama's cooking. Uh, the thing is, I haven't been home since I've been there. I've been able to make up my mind about it. I decided I should show my face, but going home alone is a bit uncomfortable. I was hoping you could join me. Tifa asks, is he alright? Is that guy alright? I'm a little worried because he looked like he got hurt pretty bad. I'm glad you were there. Thank you, Zach. I had heard of Soldier and how tough they are. I hope we can talk a little bit more about Soldier one of these days because there's something I want to ask you. Okay. Oh, here she is. Hmm. Oh. The squats are really showing for Zack. So, can I actually go with Cloud to the 
to like visit his mom as like a side quest or something. I feel like that's something that could be missed. I'll rest a little more. I got your helmet on, bro. Tifa's outside. Imagine if you'd went back up there, Cloud was at the window looking outside at Tifa, that'd have been cool. Alright. So let's see what happens here. We've got some more wonders of the world to find. Oh. Cloud looks like... Is that Cloud or is that the other soldier? I don't know. What's happening here? That's Aerith. なあ、悪いけど、今取り込み中なんだ。後で電話する。ああ。しなくていいから。分かった。会いに行く。待ってる。うん。約束だ。いや。やりきゅ。ああ、うん。インドモーションズオブエフェクテッドザスローモーション。Alright, so... Blood curdling groans coming from there. Sephiroth has a key. So I think what we want to do here... Is this Cloud's mom? I don't know. I think that's supposed to be Cloud's mom. It looks... She's very distinctively got flicky out here. Go left. I'll show you. Alright, I think we're just pursuing this for the time being. And then we have to make sure here not to go... Past Sephiroth and at the basement when he goes in this direction, I think. Plenty of opportunities here for you to go and investigate all the other parts, which I think the game wants. Maybe Sephiroth went underground, so... I'm kind of unsure, like, I'm not supposed to... I have to get the key from Sephiroth, so we have to talk to him regardless. Oh shit, look at this place. Oh, dude, do you think we can see Vincent in here? The game's telling me to go further down the ladder. Dude, I wonder if Vincent's in here. Activating combat mode. Oh, these fuckers. Thank you. Maybe I can get my Buster Sword proficiency here. Nice. Coffin key obtained. That looks important, dude. The coffin key? A coffin for a certain character who sleeps in a coffin called Vincent? You guys are like, Jack, what are you talking about? You're losing your mind. Uh, I guess we just go further down, right? Because there's nowhere else we can go right now. So we can go door left and we can door, go door right. Let's go door right. What's this? <gasps> Holy shit, dude. Um, It won't open. Uh, of course, use the coffin key. No. Let's open these. Sure. See what we get from these. I was hoping Vincent was going to be in one of these, but maybe he's further in or not here at all. This is very Resident Evil 4. Who's that fast asleep? I should probably leave him alone. Fucking shit, son. Oh, enemies. He was experimented on against as well. Yeah. Um, unironically pumped Sephiroth small. Whose name is Lucrezia. It's to do with this quest line here. So now that we've activated that, we can chat to little prick here. Some guy. Some guy. Vincent, of course. Could it be a new wonder? The treasure within the flames. Sorry, this one is kind of tough. Yeah, sure. Uh, the treasure within the flames. Is this to do with the storyline of the Nibelheim being set on fire? Treasure within the flames. Sorry, this one is kind of tough. Okay. Into the facility. There's no going back. Sure. Any chances we get a tactics playthrough? For sure, one bad roll. Yeah, we could do. I don't know when, but we could, yeah. Guys are gassed. 
ムエギル1977年9月13日ジェノバプロジェクト承認マコーロ1号機使用許可ジェノバジェノバプロジェクトこれは偶然なのかガスト博士どうして教えてくれなかったどうして死んだ OK Hey Safi Safi are you OK? 一人にして Leave me be Oh he's molding chat That, that scene there where the camera angle is looking kind of up at Sephiroth as he like walks up the hall reading the book, that's straight out of Final Fantasy VII. And look at this dude, this is kind of fucked up man. The whole like underground fucking Ouroboros fucking laboratory shit. Elixir obtained. Cool. Alright, here we go. Alright, we need to keep our eyes out for fire and treasure apparently. セフィロスは信頼屋敷にこもりきりになった And on the seventh day, not treasure, your boy who you've been talking to. Oh, you have to talk to him? Is that what we need to do, Jesse? We have to talk to him during the fire? All right, here we go, chap. Hey, buddy. Please help her. Can I do this? Sure. I'll have a bit of a minute, that's tough. Go save her, let's go. Here we go. Use your senses to make your way through the raging flames and rescue the boy's mother trapped inside the building. I don't know what that means. Use your senses. Oh no. Okay, so the stairs, if it's anything like the inn, the stairs would be over here. Holy fucking shit. Stairs have to be up against the back. There's something wiggly going on there. Oh. Up to the front. Wait. That's the window. Yeah. Have I got her? Up and down? That's up into the attic. I don't want to go up into the attic. I want to go down. Here we go. Down the hill. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Stuck on something. No, no, no. Go down. Out and along and then out. We got her? Thank fuck, man. Holy shit. Mom! Okay, so that wasn't Cloud's mom. Alright. I'm on my treasure. She was the sixth wonder. Oh. It's not a wonder at all. Well, seventh and last. Final Fantasy Seven, iconic number. Sector Seven, Seventh Heaven, yada yada yada. Let's take care of your mum. Let me repay you. Attack up plus plus. Is that it? So that is the final accomplishment, right? I guess the seventh. Does the seventh treasure remain? You ever figure that out? Fire ring obtained. Attack up plus plus is pretty good. Nothing else for me to do here, right? I can just move on. Oh, wait. I should probably save Cloud. Is that Cloud? It is Cloud. Anything else going on here that I need to concern myself with? Actually, there's one more, but you can't get it until later. Thanks, Jess. Okay, cool. I wonder what happens if his mum just dies. It's kind of fucked up. Oh, now he's mad. And there's the famous scene. He's 
crazy little Sephiroth now. There you go. And that's how he went from being a god squad hero to being an evil motherfucker. He's salty now. Alright, let's go. Now Dumpy's gonna get to see some reactor stuff. This is the stuff Dumpster was talking about. So we can't go into the mansion anymore. We have to just go straight up the hill. It's probably gonna be some sort of boss at the end of this mission, I think. Uh, it might even be Sephiroth, actually. I never thought of that. Let's see that tonight, so let's fucking go, guys. Let's see what we're dealing with here. Here goes nothing. So there's Tifa, all injured and fucked up. She's scared of the soldier units. Doesn't want anything to do with them. Thanks. Alright, here we go. Heightened emotions have affected. You gotta really grind the BS proficiency. Yeah, for sure, Zangetsu. Holy fuck, man. I've made, I've made a conscious attempt. To grow the proficiency on the Buster Sword, but it is so fucking slow. It is so incredibly slow. Um, it's the fact that, like, if you didn't have to go into the stance to upgrade the Buster Sword's proficiency, it would be it would be a really good system. But the fact that you have to go into the Square X and then get the finishing blow really bores. It, it really dumbs down the combat to this boring like doing one attack to finish every enemy and it becomes like a homework assignment rather than a hey I'm just naturally getting better with my sword. They should have just made it so that you didn't have to go into that mode and that every time you attacked an enemy and killed an enemy you got like 1% or 0.1% and then it would have been fine but the whole like hacking and slashing every enemy to get it is like oh, so painful. Alright let's see what happens then guys. We'll call Clip Tifa a cowgirl skank. Chill. How dare you? That's my wife. Here she is. Sephiroth! <laughs> This is where his inferiority complex becomes superiority complex, I should say. He starts becoming like an elitist. So that just to be clear, guys, that robot isn't actually what Genova looks like. That's just a suit what that they've put the alien life form in, and it harnesses her power. That's what Genova actually looks like. It's really weird and misleading. That front thing is like just a figurehead, basically. Badass. I like how he, f he just looks as he's fallen. We're actually going to have to fight Sephiroth, aren't we? See the boss. Holy shit, dude.
Here he comes. Don't know how he's able to fly, that's never really truly explained. I guess he's just fucking magical that way. Alright, let's see what we've got then. Oh my god, he just fucking one-shot me. Uh... What are, we, what are we dealing with here? Okay, my my magic is good. Can I stop him? I can slow him. I can cure myself. Dude, that fucking damage he did a second ago is kind of insane. Drop that on his fucking head. Draw slash? I don't know what that is. Oh, that's the big move. Okay, so we dodged that will be okay. Just kidding, he's doing a lot of damage. Holy fuck. Catch this. Oh, that was really good timing, chat. This looks like it does a lot. Oh, he dodges, though. I need a barrier for this fight. Or we are not going to be able to beat him. Oh! Oh! I need a fucking X potion! What is that shit? I'm going to use magic to beat this guy because I'm so scared. That's the big move. We block these. Yeah, we block these. Can I kill that? I think I'm supposed to kill that, no? Okay. He's very slow. I'm gonna need the limit breaks to get through him, I think. And yeah, that was huge. Woo! High potion. I'll get the... Careful, mate. Catch it. Oh, he fucking partied me or some shit? Okay. Dude, this is the kind of fight that he will just one-shot you if you, like, misplay it. What is that? Oh, fucking hell. Oh, Apocalypse. I got- oh, I got- oh, nice, this is good. Genesis can help me. Oh, that was a pretty good opportunity. It's a very slow track of this fight, like, Sephiroth walking slowly towards you, he's not gonna harm, he's just calm. This better do some good damage. 7,000. Okay, pretty good. Alright, I don't know what that is. Oh. Ah, I'm so scared. He's almost dead, but he's getting shielded? Oh, I died. Holy fuck, he hit me with like a 1-2 combo. He was like 1 HP. Oh, so... This is a new limit break I've not shown you guys yet. We haven't seen this. I think this is Phoenix. We got this from the water tank. Holy shit. I gonna get rid of his stuff. Yeah, I did. Oh. See, I could just magic him to death here, but I was trying to be cool, you know. I was trying to be epic. Not like that. We should have just not tried to cheese him at the start of the last fight and just went for it. Okay, not a bad fight, honestly. Not too tough once you know what you're doing. Got good limit breaks that time. Maybe there's a phase two. Oh, shit, here we go. Is this the real deal? Let's go. Oh, hell yeah. Maybe I should have went for Buster Sword proficiency against them and tried to. F Kill him with a big slash. I think we get bonus points for that. Surfing Wolf! What's up, bitch? You're driven to the edge, the game is over. Roger. Okay. Sure.
Oh, he's actually gaining grains. Block that. I think this is just like a raw stats test. Yeah, dude, he's fucking a chump. Easy. Again, I don't know if I should be going for like uh like proficiency bonus here. Maybe you get a big chunk of bonus if you hit him with a proficiency attack. Pretty cool though. Uh oh. Yikes. Sword just lands on the floor straight up. But what could happen? Who could come in and save the day? Who could possibly save the day? I guess Sephiroth is tired from his fight with Zack. I don't know how he managed just to let Cloud sneak up on him, but he's so engrossed with Genova, I guess. Here he comes back for his revenge. good because like whenever you play through Final Fantasy 7 you don't actually ever get to fight against Sephiroth so the fact that you get to fight him so much in this game is nice <laughs> fucking wreck dude absolutely manhandled There you have it. Cloud had some inner strength in him all along, just a little bit. But it was only when Tifa got hurt that he freaked the fuck out. Have it, ladies and gents. That was the first time Cloud kicked Sephiroth's ass. Bit of a fucked up scenario for all parties involved, to be honest. I think they should have made Sephiroth weaker from his fight with Zack to make the whole Cloud moment a bit more believable. That's just me. <laughs> Bojo picking up Cloud and Zack.
All right, we did it. I think that is chapter eight finitoed, guys. Sephiroth gave us a little bit of cheese. I'm not gonna lie, that that whole one HP shenanigans is a bit gross. But he is uh, the big dog himself, so I guess he had to have some sort of OP shit in his back pocket. Okay, cool. Chapter 8 has been cleared. Let's see what happens, and then we'll save our game, and then... Yeah. He wants them too, boys. Heightened emotions have affected the DMW. Cool. Oof. Pick the spot where the boy used to be once you leave the mansion with Cloud for your seventh wonder. Okay, where the spot used to be. Okay. Got you, Jesse. Thanks. Good to know. I think they're trying to impose that Sephiroth is very delirious. Well, that guy got fucked up. Zack and Cloud have been experimented on, champ. Fused with Mako. Tested. And subjected to experiments. Cloud. See, see, Cloud's got the little green Mako kind of fireflies surrounding him. I don't know why this happens, you know? The whole, like, oh, Zach just wakes up and breaks out. It's a bit kind of random. Okay. Cloud, are you okay? Nah, dude, he is giga fucked. So I think at this point we are actually just in the mansion laboratory, right? We've not been taken away anywhere. Oh, well, this is the Sephiroth fucking area, is it? 10,000 gil. That was just Sephiroth's secret stash, I guess. What's this? Research diary number one. Now here I am, banished to this remote country town. I came all excited about participating in Professor Hojo Hojo's top secret experiment, but now they tell me the procedure has already ended. They won't even let me, won't even tell me what the procedure was. What am I doing here then? As long as I work under Hojo, there's a chance to move up, so I'll have to be patient. Alright. They're really trying to impose upon you here that Cloud is really beaten up and Zack is literally having to, like, go out of his way to escort Cloud out. Obviously, Zack's a bit beaten up here as well, so... Alright. Guess the inn survived? Because the whole village was meant to have burned to the ground, right? Oh, it's inside the mansion. We're still inside the mansion, I see. Okay, cool. Get the fuck out of here. Maybe some other things to find around here, but probably not. Shinra news. Little chest here. We get in for our troubles. A Shinra beta. Realistically, what I need to do at this point is take stock of all my items, stock of all my materia, and like upgrade it and change it and tweak it. But we're not going to do that now, guys. I think we leave that for next time. I'm going to just go ahead and save my game here. We're just going to pick this up the next time we play, so let's save over the reactor. We are 15 hours deep and we are in chapter 9. I think the next time we play this game we will be finished. So uh, I'll try my best to get as much missions done the next time we play and uh, pick it up afterwards. So if you guys have been watching on YouTube, this was part 3. Probably going to do, I'm going to need a part 4 most likely, but I'll try to cut down the lackluster content. So... Um, any of the side missions, obviously, it's just conflict initiated, conflict resolved, conflict initiated, conflict resolved the whole time. So 
I'm trying to chop that down for anybody who is watching on YouTube, but thank you so much guys for being here. Um, leave me a comment if you're enjoying the playthrough and I'll, uh, yeah, I'll catch you in the comments.